such an exciting time for FAU. Uh, an incredibly special day, as I mentioned. Uh, I find myself to be both uh, incredibly grateful, uh, but also excited at the same time. Um, so I do want to uh, say thank you to many who have contributed to us getting to where we are. This is a long time coming. This isn't a one, two, or three year uh, event. This is a 10 or 20 year event. So um, I want to make sure uh, I pay my respects and thank many that, that have st started. So one uh, who you'll hear from after me is, is President John Kelly, um, who's, de who's just demonstrated incredible leadership support um, and, and belief uh, that, that I think we've all uh, gotten behind. And um, it's, uh, it, it's just been an incredible leadership from the presidential chair. Um, our board of trustees, current and former members, um, particularly Anthony Barber, thank you for being here today, and Abdul Mulberry. Um, but, but really, our, our entire board, I've been just blown away by the commitment, the time, the energy, the passion um, for volunteer positions that, that, that our board of trustees commits to and their, their belief in FAU. Um, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be here uh, without that, that commitment as well. Um, our incredibly generous donors. Uh, in this room, I'm not going to run the risk of listing donors and leaving somebody off the table. Um, I have many friends in this room, uh, and uh, I love uh, to, I've, I've loved getting to know all of our athletic supportive donors. I will men mention the Schmidt family as we are in uh, the Schmidt family complex for academic and athletic excellence, and um, this building uh, has been a big part of our upper trajectory. So it's uh, it's been a game changer for us in athletics. Um, I need to mention our athletic coaches and staff. Many are not here because they all have games and practices and everything going on. But we did have a staff meeting uh, earlier today, and I could tell you there was there was a lot of energy in that room. They're excited to uh, to recruit student athletes, and um, and they're excited about everything we have going on at at FAU. Uh, I, I say it all the time, uh, but I'm not exaggerating when I say it that I wouldn't trade our staff and and group of coaches for any in the country. Uh, I love who we have here, and and we have a great team. Um, it's also important prior coaches and staff. You know, there's there's been uh, athletic directors, leadership, administrators, coaches, et cetera, that have been here before me. They've done a great job to set us up to, to be so successful. Um, and there's really no one more critical than Coach Howard Schnellenberger. Uh, and I couldn't be more happy of having Beverly here today. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Um, we are all grateful. <laughs> Thank you all. So without further ado, we have an enormous announcement to make, and I want to invite on stage Dr. John Kelly. I'm going to make the announcement, and then I'll talk, <laughs> because I've been waiting to do this for seven and a half years. Um, and I thank everybody that's been such a big part of the chance for this university to be at this doorstep. Uh, today, we have been, uh, have been celebrating for a long time our successes. Today, we move to a different level of success. Uh, I'm excited to share with you that Florida Atlantic University has formally entered into a membership agreement with the American Athletic Conference. <laughs> so proud of you, all of you for making us uh, the university that we are. The trajectory has been steep, uh, but the intent was never at question. The purpose was to get to the top of that mountain, and I think we made the top of the mountain for this time. Now, we will find another mountain to climb at some point in time because I expect us to be very successful in this conference. This conference is going to give us a national exposure like we've never dreamed of as an institution. Students that come from very limited resources come to this university and they prosper. They find a way to make it and make it successful. They find a way to become the role model for their whole family. We are the best in the country at doing that. It was proven this year where our graduation rates for minority students and underserved students were the number one increase in the United States for graduation rates. So our students get a chance to do something here that many times nobody in the family has had the opportunity to do. And given that opportunity and given the excellent faculty and the leadership of that faculty, those students prosper at the highest level. Recognition today is also due, I think, directly to, to Brian White. Brian came here. Uh, he will tell you the joke of, it wasn't really a joke, but uh, he said on, on his your evaluation, on his evaluation, I wrote, get us in the American in capital letters and bold. In bold. And uh, he looked at that and he said, I think I got it. Um, so 
For us, it's a great opportunity for the university to celebrate its many successes. It's a chance to bring people who've never been to this institution, who don't really know much about us, to come here and be able to see what a beautiful institution it is in terms of the physical layout, but also to understand a whole lot more about the heart of the institution, the things that we do to help people in the community who are underserved, the things that we do to try to make this university better for every single graduate year after year. So if you graduated earlier every single year, we're adding more value to your degree. Uh, and that is my goal in life is to continue to do that. I'm thankful for our board too, uh, and Anthony Barber. Uh, Anthony has stuck with this goal the whole time. And I know there were times when people said, is he ever gonna get that goal satisfied? Check, check box, Mr. President. Uh, it is something that uh, we are not going to take for granted. We need to now continue to grow our programs. We need to put more effort into every single thing we do as an institution. We need to go uh, to other universities and other campuses with great pride of who we are and what we bring. We need to teach other people some of the good things that we do that may, they may not be thinking of doing. But most importantly, we need to excel. We are going to be on national TV on a regular timetable now. It's not trying to figure out how to find us. It's going to be a chance for us to shine on the national stage. All of you are responsible for that. This institution is getting ready to go somewhere it's never gone before. And I am thrilled, thrilled today to be a part of it. Thank you. Now we'll have Anthony Barber. Thank you. On behalf of our board chair, Abdul Moberry, and the Florida Atlantic University Board of Trustees, we're thrilled that the university has accepted the invitation to join the American Athletic Conference. FAU's addition to the, uh, to the American will provide a higher level of competition and more exposure for our OWLS athletic teams. Its television contract will, will greatly increase the viewership of OWLS sporting events and continue to grow the brand of the university. It's also a, good, a wonderful move for us from an academic standpoint, as we believe our academic profile fits very well with the rest of the conference. Additionally, the city of Boca Raton, Palm Beach County, and our entire region will benefit from the new fans who will travel here to support our teams. I want to commend President John Kelly. Uh, this process really started 21 years ago with Howard Schnellenberger. But leadership matters. And uh, the day we selected John as president, sitting in the parking lot uh, of the Marriott Hotel, he told me that athletics are gonna be, is going to be our brand, and we had to move up. And so for seven and a half years, this has been part of our plan. And uh, I also want to recognize uh, Brian White. Uh, Brian, this wouldn't have happened without you. The, the um, Paige, thank you. I want to recognize you too, Paige White, his bride. Yeah, you can clap. She deserves it. Brian was working. Uh, nights, weekends, mornings, it didn't matter. So thank you. This is a monumental day for FAU, and we look forward to a bright future in the American Athletic Conference. Go Owls! I'm often reminded the page is much more well-liked than I am, and that was just another <laughs> reminder. <laughs> thank you. Um, I, I will just have a couple more thank yous uh, in light of Dr. Kelly's announcement. Um, I want to thank uh, Mike Oresco, the commissioner of the American Athletic Conference. Um, this process has been um, just very professional and transparent, and uh, we're very excited to be members. And, and, and obviously, with any new membership, there was a, a board that, that voted unanimously in favor of FAU, so I like all of them. Um, so all of the presidents and uh, athletic directors within the American. And, and finally, one, one last thing, and I'll open it up for questions, is I'd like to congratulate uh, our, our colleagues and, and the other member institutions that uh, were accepted in, in our class as well. So uh, thank you all. Um, we have uh, some media here, so uh, I want to, uh, you know, we can we can take questions from, from anybody in the crowd, including media. Uh, I, I may see, Jonathan, if you want to uh, lead us. And... Perfect. 